What's going on, people? Welcome to another episode of Driving with Joe. It's 8 o'clock right now. I'm heading out of my house, and I'm driving to LA for my work again. Okay, there's a guy with a license plate that says swim taxi on it. What the heck? What, a taxi is swimming now? You got a taxi full of water? It's like an, a, a moving aquarium? All right, this has been... Shut up. This has been an unusually fast day of me getting on the freeway. I'm getting on the 605 now. My weakness, my sickness, my brokenness all on your shoulders. Get that guy an ambulance, man. Okay, there's a little truck. On it, it says air gas. What? I thought air was a gas. It's not, it's not gas? What, what was the point of gas then? What was the point of that word? This vehicle stops at all railroad crossings. Uh, doesn't everybody? A truck that says, Moving Fast Incorporated, and yet they're stuck in traffic. Some place has 150 immediate openings, job positions. If you apply, you will be accepted and you must immediately apply. I don't know, what does immediate openings mean? Do you have to take the job immediately? Like, what does that mean? Okay, you, you have the job, you go to apply for the job, immediate openings. I can't even begin to start to describe that. What does that mean? So, I always wonder this because I'm curious that way. You see overpasses, you know, and, and freeway street signs, you know, like next exit, blah, blah, blah and you see graffiti on them, and you're like, who would have the courage to climb up there and spray paint when there's cars below you that could run you over? Yeah, I mean, I can just see these, this gang holding on, holding on to his buddy on one arm, he's hanging over the edge, and the guy's like, I'll never let go, don't worry, I'll never let go, and he goes, I know, Bart, I know you won't let go, near, far. I see a sign company that's called, ah, sign company. A-A-A-H-S. Oz Sign Company. It's not all like awe-inspiring, A-W-E. It's all like, ah, oh, sign company. <laughs> what the heck? Ah, oh, that's a good sign. Now, like, is that part of their guarantee? It's like, we will make this sign, and the guarantee is that people, when they see it, will go, ah. Oh. <laughs> Stupid public storage. What an oxymoron name that is. It's public storage, but they have fences all around. Oh, so unless you pay for public storage, then, so it's like private storage. Because if it was public, everyone could use it. So it's not public storage unless you pay in which it becomes public, public to the people who pay for the private public storage. When you see the remains of what was a car on the side of the road, not very encouraging. <laughs> Reminds you to keep your eyes on the road. Oh my gosh, this guy like scattered his like car guts everywhere. Self-storage. What does that even mean? You store it yourself or you store yourself? When you need a place, you just go store yourself. It's like a hotel. You just, um, I need to put myself in storage today. Here's some money. There, okay, there's a Rampart Boulevard. Isn't that part of a ship? Isn't that part of a ship? Rampart Boulevard? Rampart? And the ramparts, the ramparts bursting in air. Isn't that part of the thing? And the rockets red glare. Ramparts bursting in air. It's not ramparts? Why am I? Oh no, I'm looking bad now. I guess that's why I don't sing at the Super Bowl, right? I find it ironic that everyone in the wellness center is sick. All right, internet. Well, it is 9.32 when I arrived here, and I will contact you next time when I'm on my way home, which will be now. What's going on, everyone? I'm back, and it is 5 o'clock, and I'm getting on the 101 freeway. That is where I'm headed after this. I hate this. This is stupid. One per car. Hello, let me in. Let me in, sir. I want to go. Thank you. I love that thing. I really do. But this is where I'm headed. All right. Charge! Right, so I was driving by the other day. I was driving by a Target. Um, 
a Target truck, and I noticed the tagline that said, expect more, pay less. I thought, wouldn't that be great to use at their store one day? They're like, you bring up your merchandise to the checkout, and they're like, oh, that'll be $30. You're like, I expected more, so I'm paying less. Uh, hi, kids. I'm Bob the Tomato, and I'm Larry the Cucumber. We are the pirates who don't do anything. We just stay home and lie around. And if you ask us to do anything, we'll just tell you we don't do anything. I pass by this building every time, but I, I, I always wonder what it is. It's the Dream Center. What? The Dream Center? I'm kind of confused what you do inside that place. It looks like a hotel, but I'm not exactly sure. So what, you go in there and you're like, everyone's asleep? You're like ringing the bell, ding, ding, service, service, ding, ding. I was like, service, I need my service. Bring my service here. Or do you go in there to sleep? Is that the, is that the point? Everyone in there is like a sleep dream center. Or maybe they tell you about your dreams. You walk in there and you're like, I had the most random dream. They're like, you've come to the right place. You've come to the right place. The dream set. you saw the sign. You saw the sign. And what them deck? Why are you tarnation, rabbit? Yeah, them's fighting words. Yeah, them's fighting words. I dashed in across this line. I'm a crossing. <whistles> uh, I hate you. Build a bag and For some reason, the dark side clouds everything. Impossible to see the future is. This is one of them old saber darts. Haven't seen one of these since the... Since the... Uh. <laughs> oh, no, the words! That moment where you, you're driving by a car and the guy on the inside is looking like this. Like he's, he's about to sneeze or something. All this time, I'm hearing a car. I can't tell if it's in front of me or if it's behind me. Or what? But it is super annoying right now. It keeps making this squeaking noise. You'll probably hear it in a second. Just keep a, a listen for it. Uh -huh. How trucks and vans and things have to say, this car make, stops at railroad signs and makes frequent stops and also makes very wide right turns. Yeah? Like, what if we all did that <laughs> as people? What if we all did that? This guy likes to eat his breakfast with two eggs and half the shells in there. And then he likes to have his bread upside down and not eat the crust. This guy likes to sleep in his bed with the pillow, half on with the blankets. Stop that squeaky noise! Ah! That's a funny sign. Ink Makers Incorporated. So it's like Ink Makers Ink. Of ink. With ink in it. Making a sign made of ink. I'll show you. See that sign? Ink Makers Ink. Made with ink and paper. And we make ink. Yavor. Yeah, we make ink. Yeah, yeah, we do. Some people ask me why I hate musicals. I simply tell them one freaking lyric from musicals. Like this. <clears throat> Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana, let me say it once again. No, no need to. I already heard it three, four times when you were singing it just now. I don't need to hear it once more. Thank you. I'm done. <laughs> But when my eyes go red, red, I become undead, dead, trying not to think of sleeping voices in my head, head. Punch, punch, punch. I'm just a college zombie. Punch, punch, punch. I'm just a college zombie. Punch, I'm in a what, what? People get it good. Yeah. I'm off the freeway. I'm off the freaking freeway. 
Well, everyone, I have made it home at last. It is 6.54 when I made it here. And I have made it here to my house, which I was going to say Castle of Cas again, but that doesn't make any sense. So I made it here. I'm very happy. I'm going to get something to eat, and then I'm going to pack because I have a trip to go to tomorrow. So I will see you next time on Driving with Joe. Thanks for watching. Peace out. I've got becoming famous because now I see a bunch of other guys like filming me. Like these guys here. Like filming me. I'm like, yes, publicity. Probably the wrong time now. I'm getting famous on the five, man. Famous on the five freeway. Yeah. <laughs>